I bless you in the name of the God of heaven and decree it is well with you. It is well with you in the day, it is well with you in the night, it's well with your going out, it's well with your coming in. The God of heaven prosper the works of your hands, make a way for you where there appear to be no way, and give grace over every form of disgrace in your life, in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome to yet a wonderful time with me as we look into the word of the Lord. My name remains Mike Latch, Bishop Mike Latch. Today we want to continue from where we have stopped before now, talking about minding your minds. Mind your minds. Because the Lord by his mercies has expressed through his word that the mind plays a very critical role in our lives and affairs generally. It's important for us to know that our external realities are nothing but functions of our internal positions. Whatever happens on the outside is a clear indication of the state of the inside. It is generally said that when a person has junk within, he'll bring out junk as it were without. When a person puts in good within, he'll generally bring out good without. Because it's the internal that determines the external. The Lord says we should pay attention to our minds. We have paid so much attention to the exterior, to the external. But we have not paid so much attention to the internal. A number of us spend so much money in taking care of our external flesh, our bodies, how we look, what we wear, what we eat. But we hardly take notes and spend time, energy, money on the internal person that we really are, our spirit beings, our souls. The Lord says it's the positioning of your soul that determines the positionings of your life. So if you want a better lifestyle, if you want a better external realities, change the condition and the situation of the internal positionings and dispositions. I pray that as you give me your listening ear, God, in his mercifulness, will bring forth clarity and understanding along the lines of this text in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For a text today, I'd love for us to read one very important passage of scripture that is found in the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter number 4, verse number 8. It says, Finally, my brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, scripture enjoins, think on these things things. Think on these things. Look at what the writer said the other day. He would, in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 4, verse number 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. For as a man thinketh in Proverbs 23, verse 7, in his heart, which is in his mind, so is he. For as a man thinketh, so is he. So it's the thoughts that makes a man. It's the thoughts that determines who a man is actually. So your whole reality is linked to your thoughts. How you think. That's why the injunction and the instruction of the Lord is given to us that we should keep our heart, our minds. We should guard it very jealously for out of it 
comes the issues of our lives. The big question today is, how do you think? And what are the things you think about? Now please, let me express the mind of God again to us as regards the mystery to the mind. The mind, like I say, is a faculty that has several departments. The mind is a faculty that has several departments. It's important for us to note that one of the strong departments of the mind is one of the strong departments of the mind is the area of thoughts. Thoughts, what we think about, our thought life, what we process, how we process, the things that we process. Because thought has a lot to do with processing of informations, processes, processing of thoughts, of activities, processes and processing of events, things that, are, that have happened in the past, things that are presently happening and things that are going to happen. So we think in three realms. We think down memory lane, as it were, in the past. We think in the present, based on the our cognizance of our present realities. We also think futuristically. Now, when everybody thinks along the lines of the past, events, happenings of yesterdays, so the person is said, to be operating in memory lane. We're thinking about our yesterdays, the events of yesterdays, whether they be failures, whether they be successes. It's all down memory lane. It's locked up in what you call the memory of our being in the mind. When we think about the present, it's about the present situation in which we live in, it's a present level of thoughts. When we think about tomorrow that has not come yet, along the lines of the future, it's called imagination. Imaginations. People who always think about yesterday, I decree, and I bring it to understand, that people who think too much about the past will always find it difficult to make good progress and have a great tomorrow. Because we don't look backwards going forward in life. People who spend time sorrowfully about the failures of yesterday won't make tomorrow very beautiful for them. I like to say here, categorically, that for us to be able to seize tomorrow and operate in the triumph of our tomorrows, we must give away the things about the past and begin to think futuristically in the realms of imaginations. Whenever we think about our past, it must be in line with the lessons we learned from the things of yesterday, not to dwell in the thoughts of painful memories and painful, sad emotions, because they will lead us nowhere in life.